Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Raids and today I'm coming to you with a book call. So, uh, I do believe we're getting ready to go back to Finicky Fox in September with some friends. Hopefully, if the friends can make it. And so, I figured I better haul these that I've been holding on to. Um, just because I just haven't got around to doing a book haul. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I need to get these done so that whenever I have another haul, this one will already be up on the channel and everything. So, I kind of have it a little bit um, kind of split up. So I have hardbacks first, then I've got some romance uh, paperbacks, some mystery paperbacks, some that uh, didn't really, you know, fit either of those categories, and then some middle grade <laughs> and everything. So I'll start off with the um, hardbacks and everything. So put these on my knee and hope that they don't fall off. So the first one I have is um, Theodore Hendricks and the Curious Case of the Cursed Beetle by Jordan Coffey. Coffey, I'm not exactly sure how you say his last name. But um, this one is the second book in the Theodore Hendricks series. Um, I'm not sure if these were republished or whatever because there is a... Uh, I don't want to lose these. A uh, 2021 like copyright, it looks like. So maybe they got picked up by Simon and Schuster and everything, but this one is being published in September of 2024. And I'm currently in the middle of the first book and it's super cute. It's got fun like graphics and everything in it. Let's see if I find a good one here. That's um, Theodore and her friend. I think his name is Dexter. And so yeah, it's just got some fun uh fun ones along the way. And yeah, it's super cute. So uh thanks to Simon Schuster for the second book. Hopefully I will be able to sneak that in in September, hopefully. Then I was at the library today, because why not? And um I looked over their books and this one is a brand new book. It came out just a couple months ago. And so I couldn't believe that this one was there. It's called the Wharton Plot by Mariah Fredericks, and this is a, I think it's a fictional um, book about Edith Wharton, and so it was on one of my new release that I did a couple months ago that I was kind of curious about it, and for a dollar, I couldn't believe it, so I had to pick it up. I'm not like a huge hardback girly, but, uh, you know, when it's a dollar and it's a brand new book, why not? Then, while I was there perusing their little um, bookshelf of books that you could buy, a guy came in with a tub full of books, and they just told him to go ahead and put them on there, and so he gave me a book, so I didn't have to pay for it, because I was like, wow, look at all these Sandra Brown books and everything, and so... This one is Sandra Brown's Smokescreen. I figured he probably gifted this one to me because it's like in really nice condition and everything and stuff. And he said, I said, look at all these. And he's like, believe it or not, these are doubles. So his wife must be just like me, a collector of these kind of books. And uh, I think she, he said they were moving. And so probably finding out that she had all these doubles of books that she didn't need. So they were getting rid of them by donating them to the library. So he donated this one to me so I didn't have to pay for it. So it was kind of nice of him. And so, yeah, this is, um, I don't know if I said smokescreen, but um, I've always known Sandra Brown for more of like a romantic suspense, but I didn't realize until like here lately that she did a lot of historical romances. So I picked up some of those because I was kind of curious about them. So you'll see those here when I get to the paperbacks. My next hardback is Thunderhead by Mary O'Hara, and this is the second book in the My Friend Flicka series, and just look at that. It is so cool. I just love it. There's nothing really on the back, but this is from, this copy is from 1971, but the story inside is from 1943, I believe, and I just thought this was super cool 
because it had it on the actual hardback and it was three bucks so I was like why not I got this one at Antiquish I got this one at the Finicky Fox and this is John uh, Lecar I think that's how you say it or Lecar I don't know but anyway um, he writes a lot of spy novels and I've been wanting to get into some of his books and kind of see how they are because I I'm kind of entered my spy era and so I'm kind of curious about all these older spy novels. And so it's beat up and it, you know, doesn't look the best or whatever, but it was only a dollar. So I figured why not? And it's got five of his novels in it. Once you look at them there. But it's um, The Spy Who Came In From The Cold. Call for the Dead, A Murder of Quality, The Looking Glass War, and A Small Town in Germany. It is a book club edition, it looks like, and this is from, let's see, from 1980, this edition of this. So, I thought that was kind of cool, and I figured for a book, I wasn't missing out. It's kind of hard to find, like, the old versions of his books. So I figured this would at least give me a way to read some of them. And then I have one magazine. And I probably paid more than I should have for this. But I was just curious because I've always wanted one of these magazines. And it was not in too bad a condition. So I got an Eloy Queen, Queen Mystery Magazine. And uh, it's got Lawrence Block in it. And I'm curious about uh, his writing and everything and it says Susan Jones and Clark Howard but I don't really know those two but yeah it's just a little magazine and I paid five bucks for it so I know I paid like probably way too much the person that sells these at Antiquish like she sells a lot of or he I don't know which sells them for way too much like stuff is way too much um, she, they've got Harlequins in there for like $15. Now, I know they're from the 70s, but you're not going to get nobody. Unless they are like super in need of that book. Maybe. But uh, nobody's going to pay $15. I won't pay over a couple of bucks for a Harlequin book. So, <laughs> I would take them like in a heartbeat if they were two bucks. But they just, they think very much of their books. And it's probably why they still have most of them. Because every time I go in there... Seems like the same stuff is still there. <laughs> anyway, so uh, these are some books that I got from the library. So we got our Sandra Brown books, and we got Temptations Kiss. And let's see, this one is from. The book is from 198, or the story is from 1983. This book is from 1998. And then we have The Crush by Sandra Brown. And this looks like maybe a, a little bit newer or it was just very well kept. Uh, let's see. Well, it was reissued in 2008, but the story's from 2002. So not as new as I thought. So it just it looks really nice. No creases, no nothing. Looks really nice. And then we have uh, Shadows of Yesterday. This one's a little wrinkly, but it's still readable. And it's from... The story's from 83, but the book's from 92. And we have A Treasure Worth uh, Seeking. And this one is also stories from 82, but this copy is from 92. And then Tempest and Eden. This one looked really nice, so I grabbed it. And stories from 83, and this copy is from 96. And that's all of the Sandra Brown books. And so then I went ahead and picked up a couple of Judith McNaught books that I didn't have when I checked my spreadsheet. So I have Remember When and Paradise. 
I don't know if you like seeing the backs or not, but I mean, this one's definitely bent, but this one's fairly straight, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna find a place to put all these after I showed them off. Then I checked and I didn't have these due to uh, Jude Devereaux books, so I picked up uh, the Mulberry Tree and High Tide. in case <laughs> and I grabbed this one because I like the title and it had a step back so this is the ladies guide to improper behavior by Susan Enoch and had this really cool step back so I had to grab this one the rest of these books I think came from either antiquish or finicky fox and uh, so we have Spindrift by Phyllis A. Whitney. I don't really see her books out in the wild very often. And I think I paid, I think I might have paid three or four dollars for this one. Just because I don't really have a lot of Phyllis A. Whitney and I would like to have some. And I really like the cover. It's cool. says, be quiet, the voice whispered in my ear, but listen to what I say. Go away from this house while there is still time. Never come back. Sounds cool well, ominous and cool. I like it. <laughs> okay. So now we're into pretty much the mysteries and everything. So found an Agatha Christie. So I've got the boomerang clue. Just really like this like cover. It's really cool. And it's got blue straight edges. I love it. I love how these old ones used to have that. I don't know why publishers don't do that for everything now. I mean now you got the special editions, but then they're so expensive. Okay, this printing. So this one is from 1978, this copy. And so yeah. Nice cool 70s cover then. And then uh, I've heard of this author, but I've not tried her, and so I think if I, I looked right, I thought these were standalones, either that or they were in order in the series, but I think they were standalones. I don't remember now. It's been a month or two since I bought these, but we have, um, Outrageous Fortune by Patricia Wentworth. And we have a Nothing Venture by Patricia Wentworth and Mr. Zero by Patricia Wentworth. These covers are just so cool. I love them. They are so awesome. So I, I had to get them. And I think they were like 50 cents. <laughs> so... That's the one thing I like about Finicky Fox. There is a vendor there who sells their books fairly cheap. And they're usually in fairly decent condition and everything. So, oh, here we go. They were 75 cents, excuse me. But not too much more than 50 cents, but yeah. Number 192 gets my business quite a lot when we go to Finicky Fox. Okay, so these next ones are all part of a series. Besides the first one, I don't know the series order. But um, I've just started collecting this series. And so we have um, Pacific Vortex by Clive Cussler. I think that's how you say it, Cussler. And I think this is so cool because it's got like this. So it has step back. It's so awesome. I love it. It's not too bad condition. And I don't remember where I found this one. It might have been at Finicky Fox. But let's see, this is this copy is from 1983. But it looks like it came out in 82, but this is from 83. So not the original cover, but 
pretty darn close, I guess. And so that's pretty cool. And then we have Night Probe. No, no cool step mags. <laughs> but anyway, it looks pretty cool though. And it's definitely been well read. It's got the lean and bent thing going on, but that's okay. It's readable. And this one came out. Uh, I like it says Bantam Rock Size Edition, 1982. So this one's from 81. And so there's that. Dragon. This one's very wonky, but it's big, and I think it's hard to keep them that way. It's definitely been very well read. Dirt Pit Adventure. We have um, Cyclops. I keep forgetting to show the back. <laughs> from 86 deep six it's an interesting boat thing going on there not talking a whole lot about them because then this video would be like super long and everything and I don't know a lot about this series I have never tried it this is definitely a bit beat up on the back side here. It's got holes all over it. And it's been cut. But I figured if I like this series, then I can always look for better copies to keep in my collection. And we have Treasure. Let's see that. And then... Uh, Vixen 03. I like this cover. This is a cool cover. So, that's all the mysteries. And so, kind of like my miscellaneous. I got this because I just thought the cover was cool, and it's Robert Louis Stevenson. So... We've got the Masters of Bal Balantre? Bal I don't know. But, anyway. It's a little book. And it's got faded blue edges. This is from... This one's published from... And it's a popular library edition, 1964. And I've been collecting this series so that one day I will read it, which is the Camp Fram Family Chronicles. And so I needed the Furies. And I think this was $2 at Finicky Fox. And it's like super nice condition. My uh, collection, the covers don't all look alike, but that's okay as long as I have them. <laughs> I figured it'd be okay. Eventually I can make them match if I want. But, yeah, so, got this one. Okay, so, now all I have left are three middle grade books. We're almost done. So, I've been trying to collect um, Encyclopedia Brown because that was, like, my favorite whenever I was a kid. So, we have uh, Encyclopedia Brown and His Best Cases Ever by Donald J. Sobel. These are, like, newer covers. I would really like the old ones from, like, whenever I was a kid, but... I'll take what I can get. And let's see, this was, this is a copyright, I think 2013. So yeah, it's like a pretty new copy. And then we have Sherlock Holmes and the Baker Street Irregulars, The Fall of the Amazing Zalindas. It's a scholastic book. And so I thought it sounded kind of cool, Sherlock Holmes. And I like Scholastic books. I used to work at a call center for Scholastics. Boy, that was bad whenever it comes to their uh, bookstore they had in there because everything was so cheap. <laughs> there went like half my paycheck. But yeah, so we got that. 
And then, uh, I have a bad feeling about this by Jeff Strand. I read a few Jeff Strand books, and, uh, I didn't really know that he wrote, like, kids' books until recently, whenever, like, last year, I he had a new one come out, and then he has one that came out this year, and I don't know if this is any part of that, or if it's a different... See. Yeah, it's different. Okay, this one came out in, in 2015. So yeah, I didn't know he wrote like um, middle grade and things. So this one's also from Scholastics and everything. So I had to grab this. I think it was like a couple bucks maybe. And that, my friends, is everything. So yeah, not too bad. Didn't go too long. Um, most of the time, I think a lot of my hauls are over the 30 marks, so we did pretty good. <laughs> and everything. So let me know, have you read any of these authors or any of these series or anything? Now let me know down in the comments below what you thought of them and everything. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.